Josh Hutcherson is one of the most recognized guys in Young Hollywood right now, and it's time for another episode of Seven Things You Didn't Know. Now, you might know one, two, or all seven of these Josh tidbits if you're a really big fan, so keep score and post a comment below with your number. Up first, did you know that this actor is obsessed with reality TV? He regularly lets his fans know about his love for dramatic shows like Breaking Amish, Long Island Medium, Extreme Cheapskates, and Gigolos. And next, did you know that this dude can speak gibberish? Instead of telling you how, I'll show you. A guy did it, guess. Pretty kind of guys you can't speak it like this. And again, no to go about a guy did it, no to go about a guy did it. City idea, but it gets pretty easy. Dude, it is crazy. And now at number three, did you know that Josh had his most embarrassing moment not too long ago? He was invited to throw the first pitch at the Cincinnati Reds game in front of a sold-out stadium, and oops. <laughs> moments of my life. That was the most embarrassed I have been ever. Okay. No, I'm, an, I I'm an athlete. I'm a better athlete than that, I promise you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know something? I'm hurts. not an athlete, and that really sucked. Yeah. <laughs> Which brings us to our next thing you didn't know about Josh Hutcherson, but maybe you think you did? But really, this guy is actually a great athlete. The star plays on a celeb-friendly basketball league in Los Angeles. It's called the Hollywood Knights, and the famous dudes gather for pickup games, but sometimes they get together for public tournaments to raise money for charity, including for Straight But Not Narrow, a charity that Josh is an official advocate for. And just to show you the proof of JH's talents, here he is with Jimmy Fallon. Can you, we'll start her up. Great job, Josh! At number five on the list of things you didn't know about Mr. Hutcherson, it's that he plays Peter Malark in the popular movie series The Hunger Games. Just kidding, you guys! You should already know that! But actually, this is another early project that the star signed on for, and we just want to make sure that you get to see it. Check out this Time Warner cable commercial starring an 11-year-old Joshua Ryan Hutcherson, born in Union, Kentucky. But now, you can get over 250 channels thanks to Time Warner's advanced cable network. It's way better than satellite. Oh. And if you ever have a problem, he's there 24-7. And Josh was just doing his job, and he was doing such a good job at it. Speaking of work, 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 this guy apparently has a production company with his family. It's called Jet Lag Production. His mom is the boss, while he, his dad, and his brother all look for books that they can turn into scripts. And already he, Jetlag, and Atomic Owl are set to produce a film titled Ape. Plus, Josh will no doubt star in the dark psychological thriller as a young man who struggles with mental illness, love, and a deep-rooted family secret. Ooh, I can't wait to see that when it comes out. And finally, the number seven thing that you possibly didn't know about Josh is that if he weren't an actor, he would have tattoos covering every single inch of his body. Apparently Josh only has a few tats right now, including a Libra sign on his wrist, an anchor on his side, and a nautical scene on his back. Something that with only those few designs takes makeup artists an extra hour and a half to cover up. So maybe one day Jay Hutch will retire and get tats all over his body. Should he do it? I vote no, but that's just me. Might be cool to see actually. I don't know, vote. All right guys, so which of these things was most surprising to learn about Josh and how many things did you already know? Are there any other shocking facts about the actor that you'd like to share with fellow fans? If so, post a comment below and click right over here if you wanna check out another Seven Things show. But this one over here, it's all about One Direction. I'm Dana Ward, thanks so much for tuning in to Clever News. We'll see you guys next time, bye.